As a business handset, the uh, Nokia E55 uh, is focused mainly on messaging and uh, contacts and uh, things like that, different uh, PIM functions. So, as you can see on the uh, main screen here, we've got the calendar showing all your uh, upcoming appointments. Um, and then above that, we've got uh, our two different email accounts that we've got set up on this phone. As you can see here, it's uh, actually shown us how many unread messages are in each account. So the uh, mobile phone account's got none, and the Google Mail account's got nine. That's quite handy because you can just uh, go straight into that just by clicking on it, and you can actually look through and see which um, messages you've not read. And you can actually minimize and maximize by the day, um, which is quite handy as well. So it's quite a nice email system, as you can go up to the top here. Um, and take a look at all the different inbox, outbox, and your drafts and such. Um, flip between your different mail accounts as well. So it's quite a nice uh, email experience on the um, E55. You choose uh, to sort how you sort the messages as well, which is quite handy. Um, so if we just pop back and uh, write a new message. I can just show you what that's like. Um, just go and create there. We can search by both uh, first name and surname. So if we just put C uh, for the first name, and then you press a space. Uh, so the phone knows that your uh, the next bit you type in is for the surname. So we've got C space K. If we go add, uh, as you can see that brings up Clark Kent, and we can just add his number there quite happily. Um, and then as the phone's got only two letters per key, uh, writing a message is pretty simple. It gets most um, words straight off without having to uh, search through. Um, so you can see here it's pretty quick to uh, type with, and I'm not that great on it so far. Uh, so it's a pretty good experience on messaging. Um, I prefer a full QWERTY keyboard, but obviously this device is quite slim. So uh, if you had a full QWERTY keyboard, it would be a lot wider than it is. So we've got the web browser loaded up now, and this is the uh, mobile version of the mobile phone page. Uh, quite basic. Uh, we're actually running on the Wi-Fi connection here, because uh, this device has Wi-Fi and 3G as well. Uh, and also has HSDPA and HSUPA, so it's pretty quick on the web. I'm just going to click on the full HTML version of the mobile phone site. And as you can see, it loads up very quickly uh, with all the images and bits and pieces as well. So it's quite a nice, quick experience. And we can also uh, zoom in and out and do various things with different shortcuts uh, on the keypad, uh, which is quite handy. If we go into the options, you can actually see all the different uh, keypad shortcuts uh, for doing things like zooming in and out and going back and viewing full screen and that. So it's quite a nice experience overall. Uh, to use the web browser. Obviously not quite as good as maybe with a, um, a touchscreen device but considering it's not a touchscreen device it actually works pretty well. You get this mini map view uh, to help you navigate the page um, and you get this nice uh, bookmark view as well so if we um, uh, go to go back you get the uh, nice history view that actually shows you the full pages that you've just visited uh, so you can pick which page you want to look at and then just click and go so it's quite a nice experience on the uh, internet uh, browser as well. Um, and as you can see, you can see the actual uh, the Wi-Fi networks that are available um, from this little bit that comes up on the home screen as well, which again can be turned on and off uh, along with the search function. Uh, the Nokia business devices now tend to have this switch uh, mode as well, so you can actually switch between business mode, which is this mode, uh, and then maybe have a personal mode for the weekend. Uh, you can have different uh, setups, different email accounts, and different uh, shortcuts and things like that. Um, so that's quite handy as well if you've got a phone that you use for both business in the week and also for weekend as well. As a business device, it's always handy to have some sort of navigation feature on the phone. Uh, and Nokia have happily loaded their OV Maps application. Uh, this allows you to have um, both walking um, and also uh, driving directions for um, navigation and you can also see the map in satellite view uh, and even sort of a 3D view as well which is quite nice um, if we just try and find that you can actually see sort of a 3D view of the map um, so it's a pretty nice application, there's GPS built in to uh, allow it to position you um, by itself, find your position quite easily and there's even um, a digital compass as well so that when you turn the phone it can actually follow the direction you're pointing to navigate you on foot um, it's overall quite a nice application, quite handy if you're a salesman out and trying to make calls uh, and find different places. Alongside the uh, E55's business functions, uh, there's also plenty of multimedia functions. Uh, as you can see, we've got the gallery here and actually you can view videos and stuff on the phone as well. Um, uh, we've also got some different web functions, so all of you like to uh, stay in contact with Facebook or MySpace, that's all preloaded as well. And you can also even watch YouTube straight from the link there too. 
Um, you can also download new applications on the phone using Nokia's OV service or the download service. Um, and there's also files on OV which uh, allows you to access files from your PC on the phone uh, and then send them on, email them on and such. Um, you've also got Messenger on here uh, and I've loaded a Twitter application on as well so you can even get Twitter on this handset. And there's a few different games in the Engage Games application there too. Uh, so it's a pretty nice handset for doing all you want to do. The camera's not great. Uh, but it's good enough for most business users. Um, it's just a shame it hasn't got autofocus. Uh, as you can see, we go into the download thing here, and we can um, download various different applications, such as uh, the weather application, different things like that. Uh, and there's new themes and stuff as well in there, different utilities and graphics. Um, so it's a pretty nice handset overall in terms of uh, multimedia as well. Um, just obviously not quite as powerful a camera as on a lot of uh, recent phones. Um, but that's the Nokia E55. Uh, I'm Russ Jeffers from Oberon.com.